everybody, and welcome to the final Metallica album review, Death Magnetic. Um, this is pretty much, in my opinion, a good, amazing comeback from Metallica, from the Load and Reload era, which people still liked it, but in my opinion, Death Magnetic was a good comeback to bring it back to the roots, like Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, Mash Puppets, Justice for All, Black Album, they come back to the roots, and to start off with the whole thing, that was just your life. I recommend this song to people who like Dire's Eve, Fight Fire with Fire, freaking Damage Inc., it's fast, it's crazy, love the solo, love like the little mini solo after that or whatever, like 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 Kirk and James are, you know, mellow soloing kind of together, it's a really fast song, love the intro, love it when they play it live, because it's just crazy. I recommend That Was Just Your Life, like, no doubt you gotta listen to the song if you have not heard it yet. So, it's amazing, solos, drums, bass, guitar, whatever. The end of the line, this was originally, the intro was originally called Death Was Not The End. Okay, yeah, Death Was Not The End. I think that's what the song said, like, when they, when they came out with the new song, 2006, if you recognize the, the end of the line intro is the intro to the song Death is Not the End, and they have, like, other parts of that big new song that had different parts that were in songs than this, like All Night Mare Long, that, that, uh, one of the riffs from that song was in Death is Not the End, but they changed it to the end of the line, which, in my opinion, I like the Death is Not the End, uh, riff, which is, um, I can't remember how it, how it goes, then it goes, then it does it again, if, like two more times. I mean, after the end of the line, intro, and they hold that big note, then you hear the cymbal. Well, and Death is not the end. They play a massive drum beat, then go into that riff I just kind of mouthed out, out for whatever. I like that riff better than the end of the line. My opinion, still a good song. Recommend it if you like fast stuff and stuff like that. Broken, beaten, scarred. It's James said in the interview that he had to fight for this uh, song title because apparently Lars said it was too much long of a uh, title, which is weird because they have the day that never comes, which is five words, and the broken, beaten, scarred is technically three words if you just count the end as an ampersand. Whatever. But broken, beaten, scarred, great song. Just like End of the Line, it's just kind of you know, riff going, you know, it's not all crazy, then it gets into crazy stuff with the solo, it's a great song, it's just really good. The Day That Never Comes, this is the song I wanted to get to, one of them, there's another one I wanted to get to. The Day That Never Comes, people say that this is like kind of a rip off of one, because 1988, Justice For All album, the fourth song off that was one. The fourth song off 20 years later on Death Magnetic, The Day That Never Comes. It's so all mellowed out, and then about four minutes or so into it, gets into fast, crazy riffs. It's not a rip off. It's James said it is a resemblance to one, but it's not one. It's a really good song, and I recommend to people who like Fade to Black and One. It's, it's, it's mellow, and then it gets into crazy, heavy stuff. It's really good. Um, one of their best off the album, I'd have to say, with That Was Just Your Life like that. So... Recommended that again to anybody who likes mellow then crazy fast. So then we go to number five, All Nightmare Long, which is pretty much crazy drumming, crazy guitar. I like the lyrics in this one. The solo is amazing in it. It's a really good song. It's like it's almost eight minutes long. It's a pretty good song. So recommended that. Uh, Cyanide. It's like, I like all the songs in this al this album, but Cyanide is probably my least liked one. For some reason, I just don't catch, just can't catch a really good feel with this one, but a lot of people like it. But, I mean, it's just, you know, kind of weird for me, but, I mean, it's an okay song if you want to hear I mean, I still like it, just not as much as everything else. But, listen to it. It's, it's, it's a good song. You may like it. The Unforgiven 3. I'm not sure if this is the last Unforgiven, but I hope it is. Not to be mean, but I mean, it'd be kind of stupid to forgive an Unforgiven 4. Now, I want to give you a little story here. Okay, I was talking to one of my friends about the Unforgiven 1 and 2, and I was like, 
Uh, it was like, dude, man, come on, last so hard if they came out the Unforgiven 3. It's like, how's that going to be? Like, I you the third of Unforgiven. I was just joking around being stupid. The next day I, I, at school during my computer class, I got on um, Ultimate Guitar and it said set list. I said, it said like the song tracks for um, Death My Neck. I'm like, cool, click on it. Unforgiven 3. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> Unforgiven 3. But I was like, it's gonna, it's not, it's not gonna sound good. Heard it, totally wrong. I was like, bam, stupid. The Unforgiven Three was a good song. People say it's stupid. It's a good song. If you like Unforgiven One and Two, listen to it. It's a great way to end the trilogy, in my opinion. It's really good. Solo is amazing as usual. Just a really good song. Did you just kiss? The chorus is so catchy in the song. It's re- it, like you just. It's just so amazing to listen. Like it at first, the song sounds okay. When that chorus jumps in, you're gonna that chorus will make you love this song. It's like so awesome to listen to. It's crazy, you know, just awesome stuff, you know. To listen to it, it's really good. It'll it'll get it'll get you going. It's awesome. Suicide and Redemption. God, the phone. Sorry, the phone goes off randomly here. Suicide and Redemption. Like I said. They finally went back and did an instrumental. I'm so glad. The last instrumental they did was To Live Is To Die on Justice For All. Um, then they had the Black Album, Load, Reload, St. Anger, Death Anetic. Finally, four albums later, Suicide and Redemption. And they finally played this song live August... August 3rd, 2nd? I'm not sure the exact date, but they finally played this song fully live... And it was amazing. It's really, it's a really good video. If I, if I find the link, I'll put it in the link over there. But I mean, Suicide Redemption. It's really crazy. It's just amazing. It doesn't need lyrics. It's so beautiful. You just gotta listen to it. You know, if you like all their, if you like all Metallica's instrumentals, if you haven't heard it yet. Go listen to it. It's really good. So, My Apocalypse. Great way to end the album. It's fast. It's crazy. This is like their mo- like this is like their Damage Ink. This is like their Damage Ink of Death Magnetic. It's a crazy. I mean, you gotta listen to it. I mean, it's just like you know, crazy guitar riffs just blows my mind. It's it's amazing. It's a good way to end the album. The solo is just all over the place. It's just amazing. Uh, I like the way they end. I just like the ending of the song. That crazy fast riff, and then James goes off in this this whole awesome things about it's his apocalypse. It's amazing. So listen to the whole album. You haven't heard it. Give this album a ten out of ten. It's perfect. Not perfect, but it's really good. I really enjoy it. I think it deserves a ten out of ten because it's just amazing. And I understand that people don't like it because it's you know it's not the original Metallica. Well, Metallica can't exactly go all the way back. You know, I mean, you know, they, you know, they can't, you know, they can't, it's like, it's like okay, if Metallica went back and wrote a Fade to Black 2, people are not going to like it. It's like, it's a rip-off of Fade to Black 2. Like, if they came out a song called Fade to Black 2, what, what mean it's going to throw everybody off? I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I know people are going to argue, maybe, about saying, well, what about the Unforgiven? It's called the Unforgiven, they have Unforgiven 2. Well, it's different if it's Fade to Black, Unforgiven... You know, it's it's like, you know, a whole mellow thing. Fade to Black, you can't have a Fade to Black 2. It's just weird. People won't, people think like, oh, they're just ripping themselves off. they got to reinvent themselves, and they have with this album. It's like, just like Rod Lighting Master Puppets and their old stuff. It's good metal, good hard rock, whatever you want to consider. I consider it metal. Just go listen to the whole album. So, um, up next, I'll be doing a... I haven't decided either a top 10 or a top 20 Metallica albums. My top 10 or top 20 Metallica albums. So uh, tell me which one you want to see. Top 10, top 20, whatever. Uh, Just give me comments or whatever. So see y'all later. Thanks.